Those who have the privilege to know have the duty to act. It is my conviction that killing under the cloak of war is nothing but an act of murder. To dwell on the things that depress or anger us does not help in overcoming them. One must knock them down alone. Pure mathematics is in its way the poetry of logical ideas. I do not at all believe in human freedom in the philosophical sense. Schopenhauer saying, a man can do what he wants, but not will what he wants, has been a very real inspiration to me since my youth. It has been a continual consolation in the face of life's hardships, my own and others, and an unfailing wellspring of tolerance. This realization mercifully mitigates the easily paralyzing sense of responsibility and prevents us from taking ourselves and other people too seriously, it is conducive to a view of life which, in part, gives humor its due. The intellect has little to do on the road to discovery. There comes a leap in consciousness, call it intuition or what you will, the solution comes to you and you don't know how or why. My pacifism is an instinctive feeling, a feeling that possesses me because the murder of men is disgusting. My attitude is not derived from any intellectual theory but is based on my deepest antipathy to every kind of cruelty and hatred. One of the strongest motives that lead men to art and science is escape from everyday life with its painful crudity and hopeless dreariness, from the fetters of one's own ever-shifting desires. A finely tempered nature longs to escape from the personal life into the world of objective perception and thought. Creating a new theory is not like destroying an old barn and erecting a skyscraper in its place. It is rather like climbing a mountain, gaining new and wider views, discovering unexpected connections between our starting points and its rich environment. But the point from which we started out still exists and can be seen, although it appears smaller and forms a tiny part of our broad view gained by the mastery of the obstacles on our adventurous way up. The most important decision we make is whether we believe we live in a friendly or hostile universe. Problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them. On the occasion of Mahatma Gandhi's 70th birthday, generations to come, it may well be, will scarce believe that such a man as this one ever in flesh and blood walked upon this earth. The formulation of the problem is often more essential than its solution, which may be merely a matter of mathematical or experimental skill. We should take care not to make the intellect our god, it has, of course, powerful muscles, but no personality. The significant problems we have cannot be solved at the same level of thinking with which we created them. Since the mathematicians have invaded the theory of relativity I do not understand it myself anymore. Failing isn't bad when you learn what not to do. If the bee disappeared off the surface of the globe, then man would have only four years of life left. No more bees, no more pollination, no more plants, no more animals, no more man. Strange is our situation here upon earth. Each of us comes for a short visit, not knowing why, 
yet sometimes seeming to a divine purpose. From the standpoint of daily life, however, there is one thing we do know, that we are here for the sake of other men above all for those upon whose smile and well-being our own happiness depends, for the countless unknown souls with whose fate we are connected by a bond of sympathy. Many times a day, I realize how much my outer and inner life is built upon the labors of people, both living and dead, and how earnestly I must exert myself in order to give in return as much as I have received and am still receiving. Earth is the insane asylum of the universe. We are all life trying to live, among other life trying to live. Setting an example is not the main means of influencing others, it is the only means. There is nothing known as perfect. It's only those imperfections which we choose not to see. It is every man's obligation to put back into the world at least the equivalent of what he takes out of it. Concerning matter, we have been all wrong. What we have called matter is energy, whose vibration has been so lowered as to be perceptible to the senses. There is no matter. The most important human endeavor is the striving for morality in our actions. Our inner balance and even our very existence depend on it. Only morality in our actions can give beauty and dignity to life. A perfection of means, and confusion of aims, seems to be our main problem. Generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this ever in flesh and blood walked upon this earth, said of Mahatma Gandhi. It is a miracle that curiosity survives formal education.